Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be messing with these hair jigs. Check them out. We're gonna compare color sizes. That's a hammer right there. That's a great fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. What's up, Three Pound Fishing Nation? It's early in the morning, man. It is early in the morning and I am excited about being out on the water because we've got a cool one today. Heat of the summer and we get a cool day. High of 82, bluebird. We're gonna get to put some fish in the boat. So I appreciate you joining me. Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be messing with these hair jigs. We're gonna compare that to a uh, paddle tail and then we're also gonna be sharing that with or, or splitting that with a, uh, a new wedge head that I'm not selling on the website yet. We're gonna compare colors, sizes, all this stuff. We're to put a lot of fish in the boat today i know it it's the morning time folks this is when uh you want to get out there especially on these summer days and get out there before all that boat traffic hammers us let's put some fish in the boat here we go now one of the things i'll do like on a day like today i talked about it quite a bit i'll fish a lot of smaller stuff i'd say that we're targeting probably a bigger fish today and then when i mess with these hair jigs i'm checking out the, the colors so if we can come up with a new color scheme on this day here i'll introduce a new hair jig that'll be on my website and you can check it out so i've got some interesting color schemes with those new wedge heads so we're going to try those out and see if we can get one of those to be hot and if it is you'll find it on the website so let's see here all right we're gonna try this guy here looks a lot like bluegrass but a hair jig we're gonna try it first sometimes they take an air jig right off the bat sometimes i have to wait to the afternoon so we're kind of uh we're just seeing if there's any cool color schemes that are working today early in the morning and again i like cats if you like that episode you can check it out so i just threw it out there about 30 feet and uh we're just checking it out seeing what we're gonna what we got for today there he is on cue now oh he got off now i can tell you right off the bat with that bite it was extremely oh, my jig came off that bite was extremely light and i had two fish on them and they were not just going crazy for it so i'm going to change colors right off the bat i mean it was very very subtle all right truth be told i really just want to change colors <laughs> this is a new color scheme right here Wow, that came quick. Wow. So, first drop with this color. Kind of. This was the color that was kind of intriguing me a little bit. A new color, Chanel. We're going to be playing with these all day. So, I'll mix back and forth constantly. I mean, hair jigs, paddle tails, different colors. In the morning, a lot of times, you get away with a lot of things just because it's a more active bite. But they're coming right up to it. Boy, they like it. I like the looks of it. Yep. Yep, there it is. Hey, so well, that didn't take long at all with this color here. I'm a little excited about this. I can come up with a name on that one. Comment below if you can uh, come up with a name for it. I'll show it to you. That's a solid eater. We're letting them go today. We're just having fun. That guy right there is. So what I'll do is I'll try this on a, a standard head and see if it's the wedge head. I'd like to stay with my standard uh, head that I use on all my jigs just because it makes it that much simpler. Look at that. It does not take long for these guys to come over for it. That is fun. I'm going to show you some active captain here. Look at that. Solid. I'm going to show you some active captain. I want you guys to see what I'm seeing right here. All right. So if you don't know anything about the active captain, I'll link that that video here above i did a whole video on it the 8612 is a gps maps unit so you do have the ability to video right to your phone um, the 1222s that everybody gets 1022s they do as well and so all you do is just go to the helm feature on here make sure you're on your wi-fi first let me go back and it's searching for it right now and there it is so i don't know if you guys can see that i hit record when i want to start recording I'm gonna hit one, two, three. There's your active captain. Those are the fish right there out there at 20 that you're seeing. Those are the ones that we've been fishing. You can see it going in there, clear as day right there, right? There it is right there. And look at this guy coming out for it right there, right off the bat. And we got him. Look at that, that's seamless. <laughs> How much fun is that? This bait's hot, so we're definitely going to try this bait on a different jig head. Um, and 
that's how it's done. Active captain right there again. Again, a pitch out. There it comes. Making sure it falls relatively close to the pile. And there he comes right there. Give him a ride to the boat. Let's see if he takes it. There he comes. And he took it. Look at that. Wow, these are not as big as I would like them to be. But that gives you a great illustration of active captain. That's a small guy. All right, so we're gonna get to a different spot. We're gonna use the same color because I'm curious if it works at a different spot. You know, could just had active fish, just double checking. And then we jump to another color. We try it all out. So people asking next events are gonna be all the championships. So championship season is coming along, coming up. And uh, those are our next events, the three last events of the year, which will be the local, the national crappie masters, and then hopefully the expo. There you go. Now look, that's a that's a pretty decent amount of fish on a stump. We're gonna bring this guy over there, throw it out there. This might be my new Tito color. There we go. And there she's falling. And then, like I said, I like to cast a little bit right now, so I'm letting it just float over the top. There it was. All right, so we got taken by that big guy, and I just missed it. See how much activity it's getting, regardless of whether or not they're actually taking it but a lot of interest. I'm always looking about how those fish are reacting to the bait and whether or not I'm gonna change it. I don't know. There he is. Yeah, they're all over it. I mean, they're really, they're, they might be slightly finicky, at least on this pile, but they are, we're definitely gonna be trying this color out. And I'll update you in terms of the name on the screen if I decide to put it on the website. But in the meantime, we're gonna check out a different color because that's half the fun, right? All right, the infamous loop knot. We all talk about it. There's several ways to doing it. You got your jig. This is gonna be the new color that we're gonna go after right now. It's kind of like my zombie, but it's a little different variation. You put the line through the eyelet, bring it all the way through, give yourself plenty of area to work with. We just twirl around real simple like that five times ish and you put that bait right back through that hole that you created with your finger and there's your gaba stuff right there and then we're going to pull it forward and there's your loop knot now that's a about an inch that's a lot bigger than i want it to be but people ask me what kind of poles i have in my boat i still have some of the old gray ones from ozark rods too 10 footers 10 footers and 12 footer. I think you need to have a short one and a long one. And I really have begun to like. And I always compliment my weight, my uh, baits with maybe a number seven split shot or a number five. Unless I'm fishing really deep, I don't tend to go any bigger than that. New color coming up. Here we go. Just exploring. I'd like to hear how everybody's doing with their, their fishing this summer. It's been a lot of fun. We are actually ready to take off to some. Uh, Fun lakes. We're going to be traveling around uh, the Midwest shortly, pulling the boat off the lake actually. I'm going to go down to Grenada and Real Foot and uh, do some traveling and bring the show on the road for the. Look at that. Wow. Bite, bite. Um, we're going to be taking the show on the road for a little bit, share the experiences of other lakes. We love doing that during the tournament season. We didn't do a ton of tournaments this year in terms of uh, new lakes, so. We were like, let's get on the road. Right there. Another eater, not a monster. But this is my process right here. This is more pitching this morning because these fish are really deep. Water temperature here is 81 degrees, so, and these fish are just really deep. Wow. Small guy again. Gosh dang. There we go. Boy, they're just barely small little guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Folks, that's going to end it today. We've got a new color to try out. Look for it on the website. 
Uh, I'm going to try it out a little bit more with the head, but you'll see it and I'll put the name on it. That's a hammer right there. That's a great fish. And uh, please subscribe. I appreciate it. That's thick. That's a heavy fish. I'm going to let it go. Bam. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.